Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a look, quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10, which is build 10.5.4.7. So, if you are in the fast ring, you should have an update to this new build that is available since yesterday, uh, Friday, September 18th. As you see here, I've got the watermark on the bottom right. Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, Evaluation Copy Build 10547. So, this is a new build that arrived after three weeks, um, and it is an update, so it brought us from 10536, I believe, to 10547. And um, it took about an hour on this machine, which is the typical time for this machine. I did have an issue, though, on the update. Um, I had to restart the update a second time because when I updated the first time it stuck at 95% and stayed there and after about an hour that I've seen that nothing happened I just uh, shut down the computer and it rolled me back to the previous build so I tried again and updated and this time it gone through 95% up to 100% with no problem so I'm not uh, sure uh, one little word of caution I have to say about that problem I have I think the hard drive on this laptop is starting to fail so um, you know I'm not sure that's a issue with the build itself it could be an issue with the hard drive on my laptop so what's new in this version uh, first of all there's a new option a lot of people were complaining that in the start menu we couldn't have two large tiles one next to the other which was effectively the case so they've uh, widened the option to put tiles so that you can actually have two large tiles um, or wide tiles, one next to the, each other, which I think is very nice because it was kind of annoying. You had to put you know, one uh, large tile and one small tile or three small tiles. Now you can put up to four small or two wide. Uh, that option you have to enable in the settings. So when you go into your settings, into the personalization, uh, tab you will see that there's a start and there you have to turn on show more tiles it is off by default so if you don't see it go and turn that on here because it was off on my computer by default uh, so that's one welcome um, start menu tweak log screen if you are on the log screen picture um, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, how do I change the picture of the lock screen, um, you know, when I enter the PIN? Uh, because when you go to the lock screen, you enter the PIN, and there's a picture, a default picture that's by Microsoft. Uh, that picture cannot be uh, removed or cannot be changed. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, when, you know, that login screen, how do I, I change the picture? You just can't. It's that default picture. But there's an option that they've added in the lock screen. It's uh, here, show Windows background picture on the sign-in screen. If you turn that at off, instead of having that um, Windows login screen picture, you'll have a solid picture or a solid uh, color. And that solid color goes with your team. So depending on the team that you've chosen on your computer, it's going to match that color. So in my case, it gives me a green uh, background solid color when I log in and send my pin. Hopefully this will be changed eventually and you'll have the possibility to put your own picture but for now it's not possible. Uh, improvements in the tablet mode also. If you are a touch device user uh, they've improved the fact that in tablet mode you can snap together apps. Uh, they've made it a little more easier to actually snap apps and including changing um, you know a snapped app with another left and right so that is an improved um, tablet mode so if you're uh, on a tablet or a touch device that should be much easier they've updated uh, the universal apps so if uh, you look at groove music if you look at um, mail you will have improved uh, UIs. You have now the possibility to use Dart Team in uh, Mail and uh, I believe Calendar also. 
you have um, you know kind of a better organization and I actually like the fact that they're really tweaking and making these universal apps much better uh, which is really nice and uh, the Groove app also has uh, a few tweaks I've tried to find any new things here but I don't seem to find a lot of information or a lot of new things in the Groove app that I use uh, a lot because I have the Groove Music Pass which is fantastic here so um, it is interesting to see uh, that they are tweaking these apps. Uh, I know there's a lot of stability issues with these apps also that they've been tweaking so they should be much more solid in performance. Uh, other fixes, uh, critical errors with the start menu. A lot of people were complaining in the last build that there were some problems and some errors when they wanted to use the start menu. Uh, another another um, thing that they fixed is the action center apparently was popping up even when you had no notification so uh, the action center was fixed uh, background shuffle picks if you use a um, if you have a folder with pictures and that's what you use in your uh, background and you know these pictures will actually um, change slowly um, what happens is that they were going into an order so in your background picture on the desktop they were following the orders of the files now they've added a shuffle in the picture so instead of having the order of the files it shuffles which is a nice little thing one major thing that I think is nice Cortana Cortana has now been um, Cortana has now been updated to actually work even when you have a local account Cortana worked only when you were on a Microsoft account and people were kind of a little sad about that well now Cortana works on local accounts so that means it's one of the features we're gonna probably have in a TH2 or Threshold 2 in November uh, anybody with a local account will be able to use Cortana that is cool because it also means if you're scared of the privacy issues uh, associated with your Microsoft account uh, that will of course uh, lower the privacy issues that we have with Cortana and uh, finally if you had audio problems I did have audio problems on this one with uh, the uh, Realtek audio that was kind of really weird um, they fixed the issue with Realtek audio on uh, this build also uh, of course like every build they've noted some issues so for example there's the notepad issue so if you're trying to open a file with a notepad through the command line there could be an issue there um, if you go into your updates and you get a security warning when you go to the updates here and update and security don't mind it it's not a problem uh, it is something that they're fixing right now and it might issue some uh, weird error message or some security warning here so don't mind that if you have it um, they've also noticed that if you play a lot with the notifications and the buttons and the bottom uh, right and you pop up these menus a lot it can actually um, really kind of freeze the, the, the notifications area if that happens you just reboot your computer these are known issues and Microsoft has issued here so that's a quick look at the latest build apart from that it's very stable I've been using it for more than I'd say I've been using it for about 12 hours now and uh, I even left the computer on all night doing all sorts of stuff to see that you know did it crash in the morning it actually didn't crash at all this is a very stable build and a very very good build if you're in the insider program uh, I think you should download it and um, if you can't upgrade because a lot of people have been complaining about upgrades of uh, the builds that they can't do um, a little word here I've uh, seen that in uh, uh, torrents be careful if you go to torrents because I don't want to have people complaining about viruses but I did see in the torrents that there were uh, image files available for download of 10547 so if you know you can't upgrade from within your build right now you can get the uh, image file there put it to a USB drive and just do a clean install of 10547 I, I almost did it basically because I felt well you no know, maybe I'd like to um, <coughs> do a clean install instead of upgrading but um, 
and I thought about it also because I had the first problem there about uh, the upgrade. So uh, latest build as uh, we have it since uh, yesterday, Friday, September 18. Uh, I hope you have fun with it. If anybody sees something new, sees something that I haven't actually talked about, why not share it with us? And hopefully you enjoy our videos and um, why not subscribe to our channel if you do? Helps us on the ratings on YouTube and uh, hopefully you will come back to our channel and uh, give us thumbs up, helps us on the ratings. Thank you for watching.